Hey, what's up? My name's Grant Kenoki. I'm a singer, songwriter, producer, and artist, and you're listening to Power 98.5. We don't play the social game. We are social. Power 98.5. You're listening to Power 98.5, powered by United Angels Dream, your number one resource for public relations, entertainment, and multimedia. Contact them today at unitedangelsdream.com. Hi, this is Dan Aykroyd. He's progressive. He's beautiful. He's thoughtful. He's intelligent. He's powerful. He's positive. He is Stephen Cuoco on Power 98.5 Satellite Radio. Empowering listeners from the U.S. to the U.K. Live on air with Stephen Cuoco. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. You are live on air with Stephen Cuoco on Power 98.5 Satellite Radio. We just got done interviewing a very good friend of mine, Andrew McKevich. He is a professional uh, fencer and a Team USA sports athlete. And uh, we've got a, a lot more in store today. We've got music artist Jay Wolf. We're going to hear one of my favorite songs by him called Pineapple Run. We're going to have Pineapple Run and Ride uh, streaming on Power 98.5 Satellite Radio in our playlist. And uh, yeah, we've also got Andrew Kai coming up on October 18th at 11 a.m. Pacific time. We've got NBC, okay, NBC in the house, Zach Newbound from NBC The Voice, and uh, we're going to have a live performance on that on October 17th at 10 a.m. Pacific. Once again, we've got Jay Wolf, very excited to have this young, and he's not up and coming, he is established, professional, uh, hailing from Los Angeles, California. He's also known as Peter Joe Pasalis. Known as Jay Wolf, was born September 24th. He was raised all over the world in countries like Germany, Austria, and Czech Republic, as well as nationally in Washington, Texas, and Oregon State. Seeing many different aspects and views of the world is what molded the artist he is today. Music has been a part of Jay Wolf since he took his first steps in life. No one could stop him from turning on the stereo and dancing. In school, the teachers couldn't help him from, couldn't stop him or keep him from dancing and singing in the halls or classrooms. Music became Jay Wolf's outlet, motivation, and tool. And what motivates him and who are his, uh, you know, biggest inspirations? Well, Michael Jackson, Chris Brown, The Weeknd, and Extension. Jay Wolf, welcome to Power 98.5 Satellite Radio. You're on air with Stephen Cuoco. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You are welcome and very excited to have you with us today. We're going to do a live music drop of Pineapple Rum, one of my favorite songs you've done. Take us into the Sweet. world of what, what's happening with your latest EP. Tell us about Pineapple, Pineapple Run and what keeps you going in the music industry? Well, Pineapple Rum is a song that uh, I recently just wrote. I probably wrote it in I want to say 20 minutes. I was sitting here with a bunch of friends and I was actually drinking pineapple rum and I was listening to this uh, instrumental, these guitars, and I just started humming and humming and this melody just started to form. And then once I had the melody, I just started pulling the rum, um, the lyrics, sorry, together. And I don't know, it just came to my head and I just kept writing and writing and writing. And as all my friends and people are surrounding me, I'm having a good time at the function, I'm over here writing a song in my own little world. And sure enough, I wrote the song. I even actually sang it for them. They enjoyed it. And then before I know it, I'm booking a studio session and I'm in the studio recording the song. Are you, and, even, um, are you even surprised? <laughs> no, <nah, laughs> no, nah, it just comes naturally. I'm just, I, I love music. I love to create. I just love every aspect of music and art. So yeah. It was it was pretty awesome, and the song came out really great. What about what I would like to know is, you you know you reference Michael Jackson, Chris Brown, The Weeknd, Extension. You know they are your inspiration. Can you take us a little bit deeper 
as to why. What is it about them, what they do, what their vibe is like? How does that really impact and emphasize and really motivate you as a music artist while staying true to your own sound, your own image, without being a copycat like most people are? Wow, that's a that's a great question. Um, first off, Michael Jackson, I just love... Um, his impact and I love how he was able to do the things he did and reach the numbers he did without social media. First of all, you know, the internet, he did that all just based off of talent. So that's how he inspires me because I use social media as a tool, but I, I would, it's also about the talent too. You know, like I don't see myself as a character, you know, um, how do I explain that more? I'm an artist and I want to be recognized by my talent. I don't want to be recognized by the funny things I do or, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I do. And, and Chris Brown, uh, he's just, I've always been a dancer. I was always a dancer before I was an artist and, you know, he's an amazing dancer. He's an amazing artist, songwriter, singer, and I've always looked up to him and, um, yeah, his moves, everything. I've always watched his videos, same as Michael Jackson and, just the feeling and the emotion, the vibe that they bring uh, incorporates a lot in my music. Um, who else you say? XSX that they shown. Um, yeah, him. Yeah, rest in peace to that guy. He was a very um, good, amazing artist. And what inspires me the most about him and how I put it into, like, into myself um, was his, his movement, you know? He was all about taking care of yourself. Um, you know, mentally, physically, meditation, you know, things like that. He was real big and woke, you know, he knew a lot of things and how music can help people, you know, and he was just spreading this really positive message message. And I just try to be a positive impact in my life and in my family's life, my friend's life. You know, I just try to push people and motivate people, you know, just be the best person that I can, the best version of me that I possibly can. And Hopefully people will gravitate towards that, you know, and be the best they can. And I just hope to inspire people the way that X did, you know? Mm -hmm. No, I, I completely agree. And, and for anyone and everyone that you're, you know, who's tuning in, we've got Jay Wolf hailing from California. He's an established <laughs> and accredited music artist here. And, uh, you know, we're going to be doing a live music drop of one of my favorite songs by him called Pineapple Run. And you can head on over to his Instagram at underscore JWXLF. And let's see. Let me click on this link here. You got a lot. You got YouTube, Apple Music, Spotify, SoundCloud. Uh, a lot going on here. You know what I'm surprised I don't see is, and I bring this up because it seems a little bit like it's it's – not something I would say it's like it's comical, but it's not because so many people, especially people like yourself that have been in the industry for quite some time now, I always ask, are you TikToking? But it's like everything here is music. So will ever a TikTok be included in this? It should be. My, it should my TikTok, be? I'm, su I'm surprised my TikTok isn't. Um, Let me see here. I, Go ahead. What yeah, because yeah, I use my TikTok. I do. I use them. Um, I'll make videos and add my songs to them um, to help gain exposure okay but yeah i have noticed that my tiktok isn't on my google presence yeah I, we definitely have got to see that and is it the same jwxlf J Wolf? i believe i believe it's j underscore wxlf okay check that yeah. out once again head on over to um you know the instagram page which i love underscore jwxlf you know as we were talking before we went live and uh, come to find out your Libra with the element of air. I love how mm -hmm. your your tone and the look and the feel is is very much to your element of once again of air. It's very earthy though. I like how you uh, utilize like the colors, the deep purples and magentas and blacks and and just everything here. It's it's very polished. Um, I feel that you're a great representative uh, to, you know, our Latino community. I'm Italian, Sicilian, Puerto Rican, Brazilian, so I'm biracial as well. 
but it's very nice. well done. And where does your your inspiration and your muse uh, stem from? You know, once again, because you seem to be very grounded, very earthy. <laughs> yeah, I'm a very grounded, very grounded person, most definitely. Um, that's crazy that you know that. And it, uh, how you were saying about how even if I'm standing still, um, you're still moving. I'm still moving. Yeah, that, that, that's a. Real, I don't know. I'm real big on expression. I even when I don't say things, you know what I'm feeling. My energy is crazy. Uh, it's funny because I'm real big. Like I, I don't speak a lot. I speak mostly through my music, but I'm not really a talkative person. I'm actually kind of shy. But um, people just know what I'm feeling or what I'm saying, even if I'm not saying anything at all. And um. I just put a lot of my emotion in the music and I just try to stay as grounded as possible and just be humble and, you know, put that in my music, a lot of emotion, a lot of rawness, you know, the things that people don't get to see, you know, behind closed doors, you know, I just let out and vent and just pour my heart out. That's like one of my biggest things, emotion, melodies, melodic, harmonizing, you know, I like when people, Listen to my music. I want them to feel what I'm feeling deep down, you know? Mm -hmm. Get real with them. When we think about your stage name is Jay Wolf and knowing that your name is Peter Joe, what what does Peter Joe do? What, who is he like? that's different than Jay Wolf or what does, you know, Jay Wolf bring out of and enhance who you are as Peter Joe? <laughs> I, I definitely say uh, Jay Wolf is a lot more crazy, a lot more outgoing, a lot more outrageous, bold, crazy, radical, super artist, you know, superstar. And uh, Peter Joe is more, you know, um, that's the part of me that you'll catch taking a walk in Big Bear Mountain in the forest with my friends or going camping, going fishing with my dad and my brothers, um, watching movies at home, you know, more laid back, more um, introvert, I would say. And Jay Wolf is the more extrovert part of me. Mm. That's like the animal, you know, the animal that comes out and just rocks out. <laughs> What do you live for most, my friend? What what truly gives you that feeling every single day to be like, yeah, I love my life? <laughs> uh, damn. Hmm. Just, you know, I mean, I'm alive and I can't complain, you know, they're a lot of people in the world that are suffering, you know, more than others. And I'm just grateful for everything. I'm grateful that I've been able to make it this far with my music. I'm grateful that I've been able to test the numbers and amount of people that I have and the shows that I've done and just keeping a stable mental, healthy mind, you know, I haven't, you know, mm -hmm. um, like you said, staying grounded. I'm just happy about that. I'm happy about the little things. I'm grateful. And I'm glad to be alive for the little things, you know, in my life, my dog, my wife, my family, my mother, my father, my brothers, my sisters. Um, yeah, I mean, I can't complain. You know, I feel like people say, you know, they believe being rich is money, but I feel like being rich is being in a place in your life where you can breathe and, and know, you know, be happy, just be able to sit there in the calm and not have to worry about so much going on around you just living you know actually living i like that seriously i like how you you had taken that question and instead of giving a quick answer you sat with that and that is mm -hmm. a sign of real maturity and thank you <laughs> someone that understands yourself you can't teach that no, definitely not. It took years because, yeah, there's, you just learn about yourself. You know, the more the growth that comes, the more you experience, the more things that you go through in life, you know, they impact you in ways and you just you learn about yourself. 
what is the best thing you've learned about yourself? Honestly. That I have a big heart. It's a, it's a gift and a curse, but I have such a big heart, you know, like, um, no matter what that has been done to me by a person or anything, you know, I always, I'll always love those people and I will always still be there for those people, no matter what, no matter what harm or hurt that has been done. You know, I just have such a big heart. That's like one of the biggest things that I realize about myself. I hold no grudges. I forgive everyone, you know? Yeah. <laughs> But setting those boundaries, you know, that are very important because you don't have kids yet, right? No, my dog is my kid. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of your dog? December. December. He's a, uh, yeah, he was born on Christmas day, Christmas morning, actually. Oh, well, he's our, a, uh, yeah, he's the big, is he a big dog? Kind of. Yeah. He's a, he's a pit bull husky. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's, he's kind of big. He's a big baby. That's for sure. <laughs> well, he needs to be a celebrity in your upcoming videos. Most definitely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I appreciate you and thank you for the, the transparency. You're going to make a great father. And, and just know that, you know, what I hear from most music artists is, you know, professionals like yourself, Peter Joe, you get into the energy, uh, industry um, for a specific reason. And it, always you know starts out with passion and just something there even if at times you can't put a finger on it or a word to it but it ends up to where most people especially what i've found in the 30 years being in this industry is that they live for other people their mom dad brother sister wife husband whatever it may be but the number one thing that i would like to remind you of is to live for yourself first and once you live for yourself and serve yourself first and, and embody that enrichment for you to really be completely in wholeness and in oneness within yourself. You're not going to need or want anything else. And everyone and everything else that's around you and an extension of you, like your wife and your, you know, hopefully, you know, if you choose to your, your children one day, but, you know, December, your dog, um, it's going to all fall into place and everything will benefit just like you standing there in that moment and holding December's paw and your wife's hand and, and your other family members, just be within that synchronicity, that, that hand holding and knowing that you don't need to um, stress or worry that it's all going to fall into place. As long as you're living and breathing and encompassing um, your truth, your value, and that you're going to hold yourself accountable to make sure that other people are accountable to do what's right by you and those who you love. And that also you're not going to let anyone get a pass um, if they go against that. So it is, it is to be a privilege of anyone that's in your life, um, not definitely. a um, requirement. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I, I needed to hear that. No, you're thank, welcome. You for the, thank you for those words. I had, a, I had a feeling you needed to hear that. Yeah. Are you ready to hear Pineapple Run live? Let's go. Let's right. go. Anything <laughs> more you want to share with us about this before we uh, give it a spin? I hope you love the song. Appreciate you for listening. Absolutely. Pineapple Run, we will be adding this to the Power 98.5 Satellite Radio Station playlist as well as Ride by Jay Wolf. I'll be drinking it and see you in the eyes of the sun. I'll be never weed in the eyes of the sun. Till my cup of water is the final one. I'll be drinking it and see you in the eyes of the sun. I'll be drinking it and see you in the eyes of the sun. I'll be never weed in the eyes of the sun. Till my cup of water is the final one. I'll be drinking it and see you in the eyes of the sun.
remind me a bit of one of my favorite music artists from Allentown, Pennsylvania, not too far from where I'm from, uh, just across the bridge in New Jersey, uh, Lil Peep. Oh, man. Rest in peace. I I freaking love Little Peep, man. I love Little Peep. And yeah, yeah, he's another inspiration too. I'll be honest. I've made that reference, which is an honest reference I've made to other music artists like you. I will say, and I will put this on record, that you as a music artist, I feel are not the closest. I would say I feel that you're side by side because once again, we <laughs> hear these things that are a lot of like, and you know, I'm going to you know reiterate, I've made that reference to other music artists and I stand true to what I said. But I also know Thank what you. I said. You're welcome. In with this, when it comes to you, uh, Jay Wolf, is like there's an embodiment of of Lil Peep here. <laughs> That's crazy. Can you feel that? Can you see that? I mean, knowing I, I understand yeah. what your references of, of who your muses are, but I believe, you know, in a cosmic way, we can touch things and connect to things without ever realizing where the synchronicity could be or how the extension of that could be when I really believe that whether it be conscious or subconscious or even subliminal, um, I believe that you are a, a magnet. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. And you're going to continue to attract certain things because for some reason I'm getting a feeling like when you go in a zone, <laughs> You're in the zone, and whether you're not, you question or know where it's coming from, the information or muse or feeling, um, you're an amplifier. That's what you are. That's what I believe your natural human gift is, is you amplify reality for things, whether they're seen or unseen. That's crazy, man. Because, yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's you, insane. I'm, I'm glad you, you take that from me. I'm glad that that's what you see. That's what you get and pick up the energy from me. I do. I do. Seriously. Yeah. You're not to be underestimated. I mean, you, you are what, what you say you are and who you are. And I love it. I really do. Thank you. I appreciate you very much. I appreciate you too, Jay Wolf. And, you know, we're going to, we're going to close out here and, you know, I love to, to have you on again. And who would you like to give a shout out to? Man, the whole squad, uh, my wife, Rose, my mother, Jessica, my dad, Alex, my brother, DJ Specs, the whole Onyx team, uh, all my family and friends, all the, all the rebels and rock stars and, and inner ragers, you know, all the humble and real and yeah. <laughs> What best advice can you can share with any upcoming or emerging music artists out there to know that they're not alone, even though at times, especially in a music industry, it can be very lonely, jaded, um, uh, experiencing alienation. What, what do you have to say? Most definitely. Um, I say, keep your head up, keep your head up to the sky and the sun and keep moving, keep pushing, keep grinding and and have faith in yourself. No matter what anybody tells you, keep that faith in yourself and that fire. Don't let that fire dim and keep riding and rolling with the punches and keep going no matter what, and you will make it. I love it. Thank you again, Jay Wolf. Uh, you Thank know, you. Stay on the line. Uh, we're just gonna to close out, but definitely would like to have a closing personal word with you. and. You know, I'm, I'm very appreciative and any upcoming live shows, anything happening where anyone can maybe get some tickets or if you're doing a free show or who you're opening up for, or is that going to happen if not this year, then by next year? Oh yeah, most definitely. Of course it is. Do you have any dates? Is anything uh, happening that you can share? Uh, not right now at the moment, but there will, there will be some soon. Perfect. Anything you want to close out by saying before we head on out for our, uh, awesome day today uh just thank you it's been a blessing great conversation i i took something from your words and i'm gonna carry that with me and just thank you i'm honored it's a blessing i'm just it's amazing <laughs> i never thought i'd be doing this you know mm -hmm. but 
all the hard work and everything, you know, it pays off. And this is this is an example of that paying off. And there's going to be more. So, you know, stay proactive. Um, you always have me as a, a reference, you know, anything that you uh, need at all. You know, like I said, I've been doing public relations and media for over 30 years. So uh, oh, just stay in touch. You've got my personal number and I'm extremely impressed and, and proud of you and being so young and responsible and doing the right thing for what you believe in and what you're doing right and and doing right by is yourself and your craft so continue to respect that and honor that and and just know um know by doing what's right yes sir yes sir thank you man you're welcome once again jay wolf everyone head on over to his instagram at underscore j w no hold on let me double check here i got some mess underscore <laughs> tell you when you're on the phone those uh morning like should i turn off those notifications or not god my team is like laughing underscore jwxlf once again j wolf go to his instagram all of the best and greatness of j wolf underscore j w x l f we are closing out with pineapple run we are adding pineapple rum i was run sorry about that j wolf pineapple no rum <laughs> and ride to the power 98.5 satellite radio playlist so once again one of my favorite songs we're going to be backing it up a little bit right now there we go pineapple rum everyone j wolf Head on over to his Apple Music. Download like every single track. I mean, we've got Ride, The Weeknd, Luna, Big Bad Wolf. Once again, closing out with Pineapple Rum.